Heads up, you'll want to update your browser right now. There was a new zero day vulnerability just patched in all Chromium based browsers. That includes Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, all of them. And being a zero day vulnerability, that means that it is actively being exploited by hackers right now. At the moment, only Google Chrome has been patched. I'll show you how to protect yourself on the other ones too though. There's an easy fix. But for Google Chrome to update, you go to the top right menu, then go down to help and then about Google Chrome, and it should automatically start updating. You just relaunch when it's done, and then you'll be updated. And you'll wanna make sure you're on at least one of these versions or higher. Other browsers will take a bit longer to update. Microsoft is usually pretty good. I would expect it to roll in the patch maybe tomorrow, two days at tops. However, no matter which browser you use, there is an easy way to protect yourself, and that's because this vulnerability, once again, like so many others, is in the V8 JavaScript just-in-time compiler engine. I've said for a long time, turn this crap off. It's riddled with vulnerabilities. More than half of all zero days are in this thing. So what you'll wanna do is look for this setting. It's called don't allow sites to use JavaScript optimization. You can find it at this URL. Just type this into the address bar. Technically speaking, this doesn't fully disable the just-in-time compilation, but it disables the optimizations, specifically in the internal systems that are called Turbofan, Turboshaft, and Maglev. And looking at the patch notes, it looks like the vulnerability was in the Maglev thing. So setting this setting to not allow optimizations should protect you. If you're using Microsoft Edge specifically, that actually does allow you to fully disable just-in-time compilation if you enable the enhanced security option in the settings. I have this enabled. And then you can probably just choose balanced. That adds extra security on websites you don't visit very often, which is probably the main one you want to do anyway. Or if you want, you can set it to strict and you just might have to sometimes manually turn it off. I just have it on strict, but it's up to you. And that'll also protect you. Now, if you're curious about the more technical aspects of this bug patch, there's actually two vulnerabilities. Only one of them was a zero day. The other one was discovered by Google and patched, but it wasn't being actively exploited. Anyway, interestingly, both are type confusion vulnerabilities in the V8 JavaScript engine. The zero day was with the optimizations. I think the other one was actually in the base interpreter. So that one you would have to actually do an update to patch. But again, it's not a zero day, so it's not being actively exploited yet. So be sure to update if you're on Chrome. If you're on another browser, just keep checking the updates. It's usually the same thing. You just go into the about settings and just wait for the next time for it to show up. Next up, I would recommend my video where I went into a lot more detail, talked about the V8 optimization crap and how to disable it and why you should. I'll put that link right there you can click on. In any case, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big giant thumbs up. It helps out. And if you want to subscribe, I try to make videos about twice a week, so it should be worth it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.